gosh, it's five past twelve, or is it five past eleven? It's it's ten past eleven, and I'm here on the boat, and the sun has come out and it's shining beautifully. Uh, I've got the engine running to charge everything up, and uh, trying to work out what everything does. Still, I managed to turn the heater on which is brilliant, but now I can't turn it off, <laughs> which is not so brilliant, because it will flatten the battery. <laughs> um, so today, my job for the day on the boat is to get rid of the carpet. So quite often on boats, obviously um, warmth and insulation and heat is, is um, really important. So as you can see here in this cabin, um, they put carpet on the walls, which is really good because it adds extra insulation. Um, but the carpet on these walls has gone um, discoloured. So today I'm going to remove the carpet. I've got myself a, one of these proper like <laughs> Empire Strikes Back face masks because um, I don't know how long it's been on there. I don't know what it's stuck on with and I'll be able to see what's going on underneath. So that's my job for the day. Um, I think I've given you a tour of the boat before, but I'll give you another one later. Uh, I've just put the kettle on for a cup of coffee and I'm going to sit and enjoy the view. Let me just give you a quick um, blast of the view. The river is really high and really fast flowing with all the weather that we've been having. But today, as I arrived on the mooring, the sun came out. The sun came out now, now, now. <laughs> so I'm going to get my cup of coffee but I'll just give you a quick blast around the boat. Gosh, the sun's really bright. Can't really see that way. So you can see how high the river is. And in fact, when I arrived today, that's my neighbour, whoever that is. So you see the poles there. So they're the pontoon markers. Um, so I'm number 12, so obviously that's number 13 in front. But those, when I was walking down the pontoon, they're like five foot. When I walked down the pontoon last weekend, they were like nine foot. So it just goes to show how much the pontoon goes up and down those poles and how much the river's actually um, gone up. Um, this video is not sponsored by Lucas <laughs> So I've managed to get rid of all the upholstery. Found a couple of leaks today. So there's a leak just there in the roof. Um, they don't, it doesn't worry me because once you find them you can do something about them. So that was the forward, that was like a double bunk. But I just don't think, I'm five foot ten tall and I just don't know whether I'm going to fit into a, a triangle. So I'm going to have a look at that. There's a toilet in there, a wardrobe in there and there's some um, storage as you can see. One of the things anyone who's been on boats and caravans knows that storage is um, really important. So this is my little kitchen, there's my little kettle, a good old fashioned to let you know your tea's ready. Last weekend I put up all my um, solar lights. Unfortunately I've not been here in the dark to see them but hopefully they're not lighting up the pontoon like the Eiffel Tower or something. So there's my little kitchen cupboard. Um, there's my shower. Still needs a bit of cleaning but I want to have a look in here today because there's a bit of rotten wood at the back there. So these are kind of like would have been twin bunks. Yeah, but what a stunning day. So I'm going to get my coffee and get to work and I'll give you a, a catch up later. I just love the floor. It's underneath all of these carpets. I'm only leaving the carpets down temporarily. In fact, I might get rid of them later today because then it's easier for me to see where there are any leaks uh, and get them sorted. I have had a mean idea for the carpet once I've removed it for replacing it. So you can see the carpet on the walls here all the way back. So there's not loads. So hopefully today I'm gonna to be able to get rid of it. Got my hoover ready in case there's any tarantulas. Because I'm sure there will be. Catch you later. I'm shattered. And I keep banging my head. I never checked head height when I bought this boat. It's half past one. I've banged my head twice because um, it's not the roof that's low, it's the fact they've got like a, a two inch wooden door frame at the top and it 
just it keeps catching me in the same place so i've got um a staple gun i need to staple some kind of padding because i've not got a lot of sense in there and if i knock much more out they're going to be none left <laughs> so i've ripped the um aft cab into pieces basically and the bins are miles away, <laughs> so I'm shattered. And I've still got a couple more trips to the bin. Um, so basically what I've done is you can see I've taken the carpet off the walls. Um, these bunks I'm pretty much leaving because there's a water tank underneath one side and um, a wastewater tank underneath the other. Um, so I'm... Um, I'm restricted with what I can do with the space. It's not like I can rip everything out and I've got just an empty cabin. So let me just give you a... So this oh, was a chest of drawers. Now I want to cut it at this height and take it all the way back so that I can make the back of the boat. I think I'm going to make the back of the boat the bed. Um, that's the plan. I'll I'll turn the camera around and give you a, a probably a better view. So that was a chest of drawers. So if I remove it there, and I'm going to take it up to where the the side is there, um, and the same on this side. So it will go along there and probably up to there. So put the electricity on but remove that and then somehow you know go over the top and make like a really nice long bed across the back of the boat um but and then there'll still be plenty of space here where basically where that join is is where the tank underneath that seating finishes and if you look it's the same on this side so I don't have to keep this bit if I don't want to on either side. I can chop them off there and even put, you know, like normal furniture in if I wanted to. So, yeah, the options are endless. And I've had an idea for the walls. I don't know how it'll work, but this underlay is really lovely and thick. And I think that would really nicely insulate the boat. So get some insula insulation like this, stick that directly onto the walls because you can see this is the fiberglass, basically this is the shell of the boat. So I'm going to seal around all the windows, stick that underlay on the wall and then I might get some like fake fur, like Muppet fur. <laughs> How cool would that be to have like pink furry walls? Ah, oh, I just think that would be brilliant because it's not that much, you know. I mean, there's the, I've, I've left the wood on here, I don't know whether I'm leaving it full time or not, but I would reboard probably that side with wood underneath the window, but then just along and around the windows. How cool would that be in hairy pink Muppet fur? I just think that would be brilliant. I really do think that would be brilliant. <laughs> you never know, I might do the whole walls. I might even do that. And not bother boarding it. The possibilities are endless. And there you go. That's what I've been doing this afternoon. I decided I was going to buy a boat and get rid of the house. I also decided that once or twice a week I would stay at my parents' house just to give them a bit of a hand as well um, and to kind of just break their week up a bit. They found it really difficult. So we're in a bubble and we have been for a couple of months now. And so I stay at their house once or twice a month and I do think it makes a difference. My mum my just loves it when either me or my brother are there. Um, so I just stay over, we just watch telly. I, I go to bed really early anyway and get up really early but I, I just think it you know it's just something different for them isn't it um yeah it does eat into my time but it's worth it you don't you know, yeah you don't get this opportunity always to spend some quality time with your folks 
So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of today. Um, hopefully I might have even got some parcels and packages. There's certainly some on their way, so we'll see. Anyway, a couple more trips to the bin and I'm off home. Catch you later!